oldest. Uh, yeah. Mate, right. we got. So yeah. if you was in court, yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, <laughs> you was in court the whole week, Monday, Tuesday, okay, Wednesday. So, Monday, so the day that, so you was there for the opening of the case. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Yeah. So for that opening of the case, yeah, for that opening of the case, what was said about me? They said they were going through the uh, internet records of Osborne, and they said we have seen we've, we've looked at his two iPhones and iPad and uh, Tommy Robinson's name has appeared in many searches from Osborne yep. in the days leading up to it and uh, he's wet, and yeah. he's read it's lots of your training. but what, what, what was he's said read lots of your free lessons well. stuff. what was said what was said about me contacting him via social media what was said was that he received he opened up messages that had been sent by you Via social media. Did they mention social media? It said it said accounts linked to you on social media. Yes, I the word the, the exact word social media. It was, either, it was either email or Twitter. Email or Twitter. But there was a, there was but he followed it up with straight away saying there's no suggestion that Tommy Robinson or um, Jada Branson <coughs> messaged him. Like there's no, no suggestion that you said dear Mr Osborne blah blah blah. So there's no suggestion that I messaged him directly. Said, no, it was said that. Um, and but did he did he follow that up later? In the yeah. day, he followed that, that. No, it's ne it was two days later. Two days later. So once, day. yeah, once my barrister contacted the Attorney General and contacted the head of the CPS to say, "You've just opened up a court trial with a lie. You've just said that I've contacted them via social media." Because my, my barrister's gone in, and what they've said is that he he was sent direct messages from my social media. He wasn't. He never was. I've never messaged him at all. Yeah. So then, so then they corrected him two days later. So when, since they've corrected. That's when media have started then backtracking, but the word Twitter, see what the, what the CPS are saying is that we never said... Can we save this for the camera? Yeah, yeah, save All it. Right. But, yeah. Um, but just, to, just to be clear, yeah. there, was, there was a search interview, there was your material, yep. so your Twitter stuff. Um, he, probably also, he probably also looked at Tesco's. Do you know what I'm I mean? sure he did. That's, what, that's the insane thing, is. But then the, they also said that it was emails, but the, the, the prosecutor did say there's no suggestion that this was written by you, Tommy Robinson, to Darren Osborne. It was it was more like they a, did a followers of the uh, a followers uh, thing. Mail, mailing a, list, a mailing list from yeah. a company in Canada. But he only said that two days after. He only said, yes. That, that's as far as I remember. He's only clarified that once the headlines have gone round the world. Once the once the well, world once wanna, the world's been. Wanna, I'm not sure. No, that. I'm sure. Once once the world's. It's a bit weird to be on a skate park. I'm sure you filmed it a lot worse. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we sit on here? Yeah, sit on there. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. I just don't want to bend the back. Can you squat down? Yeah, that's it. Once the world have been, once the world, once once they managed to implicate me in this trial, they then corrected everyone. Oh, two days later. Oh, well, there's no suggestion Tommy's messaged him. Really? So why have Russia Today? Why have the Sun? Why have Metro? Why is it? Why have Sky News? Because I've got copies of what you said, yeah. and you said that I direct messaged him via Twitter. Sky News said on your article that I direct messaged him via Twitter. That's what's on your article. I've got screenshots. Well, yeah. Yeah. well I never. That's, well, that's what, it, that's what was said in court. Okay, great. So it's the, it's the CPS. It's actually the state that have lied, because it's absolute lies. Which, you know the implications of that are? Once I get the transcripts, oh, we need to say yeah, something. His trial, will, <laughs> his trial will collapse. The trial, he'll have to have a retrial, because they've lied to the jury. And if they've lied about so that, what else they lied about? You've been through your social media and your emails of you, and you've I've been seen all emails that are linked to you and, and, and for any messages to him. Yep, I've been through everything. All right, hang on a second. We are rolling. Okay. Um, just tell me a shot, yeah? Uh, can, you do it, can you do it a dirty two? Right, all the way, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Dirty two, eh? Dirty two? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start getting carried away now. <laughs> you're not going to start swapping spit in the shower or nothing. Yeah, okay, we're rolling. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Tommy, first of all, your reaction to, to the last uh, week or so? I'm gobsmacked. I'm absolutely shocked. I'm shocked at the state and the media. I'm shocked at what's been reported about me. And I'm shocked that they're allowed to report complete lies, which is what's been, which is what's happened, and the knock-on effect of these lies. I, I'm shocked that the Crown did not warn me about that they were going to use me in the opening of their prosecution on a terrorist trial. They should have warned me. Since this, I've had death threats. I've had threats to murder my children, murder my wife, and all of this has come from lies. 
And, like, you, and, that's, and that can all be proven. Are you saying that you didn't send any messages, either through mailing lists yeah. or, or what, otherwise, what to Darren Osborne? What I'm saying is, what, what's been said in court, and the headlines, and exactly what your media reported, exactly what the BBC reported, exactly what every single media across the whole country and world has reported, was that I was sending direct messages via social media to Darren Osborne. That is a complete lie. That's a complete lie. But you did do that via email. No, I didn't do that via email. I've never sent Darren Osborne an email or anything. What, are you 100% you, sure then that their records are wrong and you didn't maybe through a mailing list? No, no. Or some, yeah, some I other? haven't sent anything. So but that, you may so, have done through a mailing list? No, I haven't done, sent anything. Yeah. Basically, Darren Osborne is one of them, upwards of nearly a million people on a mailing list for Rebel Media. Rebel Media are a company that I work for. It's like Sky News sending a, 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 an email list to all your people you think and then them accusing you of court. Well, no, I don't think that was ever the case in court. I've been in there the whole time, and they've they made clear this is never a case of you, Tommy Robinson, writing an email to Darren Osborne, dear Darren Osborne. This was a case of him possibly being being on a mailing list. Okay, so so, 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 so tell me this. So, so who's lying then? Because if you if I give you the headline, days before killer attacks, day, days before alleged killer attacks, Tommy Robinson sends direct Twitter messages to him. Who's made that up? So if you've been in court, who has made this up? Is it the Twitter messages that you're not happy with then? I'm because not happy. You're with, not saying anything I'm, about I'm, not the emails. I'm not happy with social media, the comments of social media. Someone being on a mailing mailing list for a company in Canada is very different to Tommy Robinson sending personal messages. Now, what what the state have tried to do and what the media have tried to do is you've tried to make it look like Tommy Robinson has radicalised somehow this man. The fact that five people were killed in the Westminster Bridge attack and 48 were injured, eight people were killed in the London Bridge attack and 49 were injured, 22 people were murdered, including children, and 512 people were injured, all within a space of five or six weeks, which is what this man witnessed. How, how, how are the mainstream media and the government and the police how is this landing on my doorstep? How, how has that happened? How is no one talking about any of the, any of the terrorist attacks that, that would have been the, the focus of why this man done it? All, all you're trying to get at, and have you, read, have, you, have you actually read the email that was sent from, the company in, from my company in Canada? The email was about a young girl, right? One of them was about a young girl who got raped by Syrian refugees and it was asking for help to get her a lawyer. The other one was about facts, again, I know people don't like facts, but they were facts I, I know the journalists, I know the, the fake news media don't like facts, but the facts were about the Didsbury Mosque. Now the British public across the country are following everything that's going on and all that's happened this week is everyone knows I've not direct messaged him on Twitter, everyone has seen what the media have done, what the state have done, everyone has seen this massive attempt to blacken my name, to tarnish me and to have me killed because currently now there's a police guard outside the house about 10 miles from here, it's not even my house, it's my old house. The poor family in that house have got police protection outside their home because of these lies in court. This is a terrorist trial. How, have you got, how, how is there no integrity in the prosecution or the state or the journalists to report facts or the truth? This whole- Well listen, I, it, I can't speak for the, for the prosecutors here, but I can only speak for journalists. Like I've been in court all week yep. and we've only been reporting what's been said to us. The opening was obviously the opening statement. It was social media. It wasn't, I've, I've it, 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 it my, was my, vague. My it wasn't particularly precise. But it was the day after when we found out that, about the difference between the emails and the Twitter messages. But I think we've decided, we've discovered here that you're saying that you absolutely did not send any messages, no. even via mailing lists on Twitter. No. But you may have done, and you you maybe you're pretty certain you did via the mailing list through emails. I'm, I'm certain that Re yeah, Rebel Media yeah. sent okay. an email mailing list yeah okay to to a million people. Yeah. And so that's that's not me, eh? That's not me. But the way it's been portrayed and the wording, and, and, and still, do you know what the quotes are? The quotes in the Independent were suspect messages sent by Tommy Robinson. Suspect, suspect messages. What are you on about? Suspect messages. This is what this has been is a complete onslaught against me. Somehow to try and implicate me and involve me in this case, which I've got nothing to do with. I've got nothing at all to do with this case. For this case, every single opportunity I've had after every single high-profile thing, I call for no trouble. I call for no violence. I always say there is no, violence is not the answer all the time. Yeah? But no one reports that. All you've tried to do, I've watched what's tried to do, all the media have tried to do, and if this, if what you're saying is all you've reported is what's been said in, in court, because Sky News actually reported that I sent Twitter direct messages to him. If that is the state that have said that in court, then this has massive implications for me. My life's in danger. My life's in danger. They know, they know, they know I live under constant terror threat. The government give me Osman warnings, and the police give me Osman warnings. Only, only, only two months ago, I had the police coming and waking my family up to tell me that there's a, I'm on the hit list to be killed. Yeah, 
and they don't even warn me that they're going to open up a murder trial and a terror trial with my name. What are you going to do about this? Um, my solicitor is going to issue a statement this afternoon and we are going to go after everyone, legally, who has put my life in danger through, through complete misrepresentation of the truth, which is, I don't understand how they can, I, 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 I'm baffled, do you know what, I've put up with this for nine years from the media, I've put up with it and I've put up with it and I've put up with it, I've, I've read lie after lie after lie after lie from you, and I've, and I've just let it go, and, I, and the point comes when I, now, because of your lies, my children, if you, you know how difficult it is as a father to sit and read messages saying, I'm going to stab his children to death, I'm going to murder his wife, it's, it's gut-wrenching, and all of that's come from, from this, the lies, the lies, and, 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 it, and it, it, it can't be legal. It can't be legal what's happened this week. It can't be. You've had this for years. Is this one of the worst it's been for you? The fact that the state have done this. The fact that the state, the fact that the CPS have lied. The fact, well, if that is the fact, we, I can't, I, until we get the transcript from court, my, my bar Barris has gone in to try and get the transcript. We can't get until the, the case is over. Once I get those transcripts, I find out exactly who's made this lie. Whether it was the CPS in the state or whether certain journalists in that court have took it upon themselves to add words and add things into the into the thing, then I know who I've got the problem with. But um, yeah, uh, this this I, I have to follow this up because it, it's, it's it's gone on for so long. It's not the truth. Like as journalists, you you want to report the truth, don't Absolutely. you? On that basis, then. We, absolutely. <laughs> you said that with a straight face. <laughs> That's the best one I've heard all week. That's better than my yeah. jokes. <laughs> um, let's take the messages aside, then. Yep. Let's say that you didn't send any messages yep. at all, yep. whether through Twitter or through email. Some of the things in court that we learned that he'd been reading and watching were some of your posts. For example, after the Manchester Arena attack, he is said to have read a message from you to his followers saying... There is a nation within a nation forming just beneath the surface of the UK. It is a nation built of hatred, violence and Islam. And then two days before the attack, where was the day of rage after the terrorist now, attacks? All I saw was light and candles. This is great. Do you not feel, I'm so glad you brought that up. Do you not feel any responsibility his actions? I'm so glad you brought that up because what, you have, what you've taken out of that, what you've missed in that, you see there has been a day of rage. You haven't took out the leaflet. There was a leaflet from far left organisations, government supported organisations in our country who were calling for a day of rage. People were coming out for a massive day of rage against America, against Donald Trump. They were coming out and inciting violence and riots on our street. I quoted the leaflet and then I said, well, oh, where was our day of rage? We didn't have a day of rage. We lit candles and we, uh, and we said prayers. Yeah? Do you think that Darren so, Osborne would have understood so, the context no, of that? Do you think he'd, he'd, have he'd, he'd, have, he'd have seen the leaflet. He'd have seen, what, what, you've, what you haven't done is put that into context. You haven't said that, that on that on that message is a leaflet about a day of rage and violence from far left organisations. You've cut that out, and you see there there is a nation building within a nation. What I've just I just so you stand by the words then, and do you not feel that Darren Osborne may have misconstrued what you're no, saying? The, the, Brit the British public are fully aware there's a nation building within a nation. Everyone knows that now. As I've just gone through you, 22 dead in Manchester, 512 injured. Westminster attack, 49 injured, five dead. London Bridge, eight dead. That was all within five or six weeks. We've had 12 terrorist attacks stopped, massive terrorist attacks stopped in the last 12 months. There's a nation building within a nation. There's zero integration, okay? And people are desperate and scared. That's the reality. The British public are scared, they're worried, they're fearful. And nothing is being done to address that. Nothing at all. So, okay, so after the, um, I think it was the... Low battery mode. Uh, uh, here you go. After, yeah. after the actual Finsbury Park attack, yep. you tweeted... The mosque where the attack happened tonight has a long history of creating terrorists and radical jihadists yep. and promoting hate and segregation. Yep. I'm not justifying it. I've said many times, if government or police don't sort these centres of hate, they will create monsters as seen tonight. Yep. And, and we've, we've seen in videos... I've, I've, I've that, warned about this for 10 years. And we know from Darren Osborne, what we heard in court from Darren Osborne's internet history, that he has read these messages. We've also seen a video from you that said... You see what's hilarious that's happening here, yeah? Is you're not even talking about the fact there was three terrorist attacks. Jihadists... We went, have. No, 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 no you're no, not. Tommy, no, you're trying Tommy, to put no. this, you're trying to put this on me telling the truth and no, giving listen, you facts. Listen, in all the reporting that we've done, <laughs> Yeah. on this case, Darren Osborne, we have said, this comes after. This comes, this after. comes after women was attacks. Women were sitting eating food in London and Muslims come up behind them and stuck knives in their throats and killed them, okay? You're not going into young children were butchered in massive numbers, 22 dead, okay, Every, at a children's everyone concert. Knows, everyone knows that. That's very so, much on But the you're line. not talking about that. You, what you want to talk about, what you want to talk about is the fact that I said, do you know, do you know at that time, do you know at the time of the Finchley Park mosque attack? I went on with Piers Morgan and I tried to give a name. In fact, I did give the name. 
I give the name of Mohammed and I said, do you know who runs the Finchley Park Mosque now? Do you know who's involved in running it? And I was shouted down and shouted down and shouted down. And about two months ago, the Times done a big exclusive. Oh, look who's involved with the Finsbury Park Mosque. And it's a terrorist from Hamas, yeah? And he was, in, he was involved and in charge of that mosque at the time of that attack. Did they okay? deserve this? No, of course they didn't. No, innocent people do not deserve to be run over walking down the street. Come on, that's a stupid question. When it happened, yeah. where were you and, and what did you think? Did, did you, where did you think did you, I was? In the van with Darren Osborne. Did you, did you, did you at any point... When you read the news reports, did you feel in any way responsible? No, I, I felt that why aren't anyone listening? Why is no one listening? I, if you for, for go back to speeches I gave, I said Engli five years ago, English people are going to end up blowing themselves up unless you address the situation. That's not what I'm asking to happen. I'm doing everything I can to prevent civil disorder, civil conflict, and murder on our streets. But the reality is, the reality is, the country's, see, the British public are fully aware now of what's happening of how the government are allowing it to happen. All of this, we still have right currently now 22,000 Muslims on a terror watch list walking around our country. So do, People you, think, do you think this desperate. attack, do you think this attack was inevitable? Do you? I'm not asking you, I'm asking you. These sort of attacks, unfortunately. So I'll ask you that again. Do you think this attack was inevitable? Unfortunately, then that this is what breeds. So. When you keep getting terrorists, if you look at the situation in Northern Ireland, let's play it on Northern Ireland. When the IRA were doing three bombings a day, the UDA fought. Yeah? Our country's letting this happen. Our government's letting this happen. When we're getting attacked off right and centre, when girls are getting dragged off the streets and groomed in, in every single town across this country, okay, what are people going to do? I don't, I don't, know, I don't see how eventually where they're, where they're pushing this. And that's being purposely allowed to happen. Can I just play you something? <clears throat> this was, uh, I'd like to, know, I'll ask you actually, because, you know, this is a fake news free environment. Um, oh, is it? Can you tell me what are you doing you, here? Then? You're a comedian what, as well! What are you doing here? Are you, are you working at the Apollo tonight? <laughs> can, you tell me when you, can you tell me when you posted this? Yep. Um, this video. Oh, I, and, and you've cut, I, I already know what you're going to show me, and, and you're going to have cut out, go and get here, because this is great. Because okay. you're going to show me standing outside the mosque saying that there's enemy combatants living in these houses. No. Oh, damn it. No. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your favourite one, is it? Well, it is because it's taken out of context because you okay. don't... Okay, yeah. just should be able to pick the sound up on this. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to try and make sure the camera can hear. Yep. I've said time and time again, if we don't get this issue dealt with, and the British public will, they will end up taking matters into their own hands. Take Northern Ireland as a prime example. Militias will be set up and the UK government will have a problem beyond their wildest dreams. Inaction will only facilitate the creation of a disgruntled, angry population who will end up cleaning out this Islamic problem. Yep, does that feel uncomfortable watching that now? No, not at all, no. No, that's a warning. Look, I'm not asking people to do that. See, what you're trying to make it seem is that I'm saying, let's get a militia. I've never said that. What I'm giving is, I've, I've been proven right. I don't know why everyone says it. I'm, I'm, what I've said is true. And, and this has proven what I've said is true. Is this a self-fulfilling prophecy, though, where someone like yourself, very, very prominent figure, says that people are going to rise up, people are going to take matters into their own hands? It's sort of language that we saw Darren Osborne using in the back of that police van. Is this a self-fulfilling prophecy that you've let happen? I don't know what it means. No, it's, it's a warning. It's a warning. Look, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's where you keep saying it over and over again, people are going to rise up, people are going to take matters into their own hands, until eventually it does happen. No, it's not. Uh, you, what, what is a warning? No one has talked the truth. That's the truth. The truth is, and the warning is, this is what's going to happen. Vulnerable young children out there right now, th this is what's going to happen. Okay, it, That's what's going to happen. As we progress few, further in the years, in the last 12 months, as I said, 12 terrorist attacks have been stopped. If you look what's happened over the last couple of years, whether it be the Black Hand Theatre, whether it be whether it be Leon with the lorry, whether it be Germany, whether it be all these massacres going on across Europe, that, no one would have thought of that five years ago. Progress another five years of what's going to happen Okay, with Islamic Jihad. That's what this is. Islamic war on us. What do you think is going to happen over the next five years? Now, the, the consequences of that are, and the reality is, and the point I was making, do you know the point when I, do you know when I made that video? I made that video because I tracked down Abu Halima. Abu Halima is one of our country's most radical extremist terrorist supporters who's on camera saying we'll kill the gays when we get power, we'll murder everyone, we'll do this, we'll do that. Okay? I tracked him down to see where our government have housed him. And I found him living next door to a primary school with our kids in it. This is the reality. That's not, that's not the government's children, because their children won't be in that school. Our children are in that school. Now, you see, if my children were in that school, Abu Halima would not be living there. Okay? So th that's the reality. When I say British, the British public, we have, to we have children, we have families, and we want protection, and we want to feel safe. Now, if the government fail, which they failed, they have failed. They're completely failing. They've done nothing. ISIS, they've allowed 
2,000 British Muslims went to fight for ISIS. They've allowed half of them to come back. Some of them are walking around my hometown of Luton. Some of them are walking around my town. When did you post that video? Do you remember? Um, no, I don't. That, po that, that was posted straight after the Abu Halima uh, video, which would have been just after Manchester attacks, the London attack. So this is a prime time when, according to the court, Darren Osborne was in a process of Again, what, 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 what is mad, isn't it? What is mad is that what you're trying to get to, what you're trying to put from this, is rather than the terrorist attack radicalised him, me saying... No, no, no. In court, they said that this was... The so three, what you the three terror attacks yeah. and other things, including researching so did, fake, fake news websites... Did they, like, did, did, did me, they say in court that I radicalised him? No, they didn't say that. No, so what are you getting at? What are you trying to do? On your, what, what is this on your news? What's this all about for your news? A big picture of me, big murder trial. Do you feel responsible? That's what you want to do. That's what you're going to do. That's what is insane. <laughs> well, it's insane. That it's insane. If you have, you know, ha do you have no integrity? Do you he, not, well, listen, Tommy. Do, do you think that it's, do you think it's important for if someone is mentioned more than once on multiple occasions, your name was brought up in court on a very serious murder trial? Of course it was. Attack. Of course it was. It was do done on purpose. Not, do you think it's not important to come and speak to you? No, not I, only I, to hear your view, but, but also to challenge you. Okay, do you think that's important? Well, Would I you think, not do that? You call, I, you call yourself a journalist. But I, then, I've, right? I've just told you that what they've said is lies. They, my name didn't need to be brought up in this court case. It's done on purpose. It's done on purpose so that you can run news pieces like this, the BBC can run, run news pieces like this, and they can try and implicate me and defame me and slander me to the whole entire country. When the reality is, the big, you see the little video you're cutting? Why don't you cut the video where I said violence doesn't work, we, we, th then no one should commit acts of terror, no one should give wh Muslim women abu abuse. Why don't you cut... Do you think Mr Osborne saw these videos as Everyone well? saw these videos. So you think he saw as much of your peaceful protest as your as rise up? I didn't say rise up. I didn't say... You said take matters in your, into your own hands. I didn't say take matters into... You said no. people will take matters into their own yeah, hands. No, no, no. Yeah, but you said... I said take matters into your own hands. See, that's very different to people will take matters into their own hands. Does it make you feel uncomfortable that things... It makes me feel uncomfortable that, that you're you've... dropping words to make it fit, that I'm telling people to rise up and kill people. And do... do you know, do you know, know what I invited... Does it not make you feel uncomfortable yeah. that, that Darren Osborne yeah. has said has quoted back things that you have said, for example, take matters into my own hands and don't look back I didn't in say anger, that. which we, is a we, sneer on, we've just said on that. the Manchester attack. When have I said don't look back in anger? Apparently, according to the, what was said in court, Darren Osborne read a message from you that said don't look back in anger. A lady sung a song of don't look back in anger after the Manchester terrorist attack. That, you, you, you know that's where I know, that, I know what it's about. You know yeah, where that course, comes from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, 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 and let me get something clear here. You know the email that he would have received from the email list from Rebel? Do you know what it was to invite... <laughs> invite all the people on to a, a silent walk a silent walk and you're trying to make it out look, look look you're trying to make out like it's like come on let's rise up and smash it's, you're, you're, I'm not you're, Tommy I'm not I'm not trying to make you look the media. like you did this like you did this attack no I'm the media no you're trying no, the whether me, or the not the media you feel and, in any way not responsible you, you didn't drive the van but do you feel any in any way responsible for possibly pushing Darren no, Osborne you, on this path no do you know who should feel responsible Didsbury Mosque other mosques. You see the radical hate centres that have been radicalising and hate preacher after hate preacher after hate preacher that made Salman Abedi the terrorist he is. That's who should feel responsible. And they're still open now, doing exactly the same right now. I have no responsibility in this, okay? I combat and tell the truth and make people aware of what's happening in our country. The government should feel responsible. They failed completely. They've allowed this nation within a nation to build. They've allowed terrorists to go fight and behead people in Syria and then come walk around my hometown of Luton. The British public realise that. They're watching that. People are scared. People are fearful. The British public are. What and do you think of Darren Osborne? Um, has he been convicted and found guilty? This isn't going to go out okay. until the end of the trial. So I, 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 we are, we are please don't put any, okay. This can't go out, by the way. No. This, you know this can't go out until after the trial, if you're planning on putting that anywhere. No? OK, well, that's it, live. So say it's it's live. It's live. Yeah. <laughs> well, can you can you stop broadcasting? I like no, it. No. no. Do you know why it's live? So that when you do your little news piece and yes. it's a little hit on me, and it makes it look like this and that, people can watch back to see the conversation we had, and then people will you will be exposed as fake we're news. Gonna to, we're going to have to end it. Because, Let's end it. This then. is this is pop, this is potentially contempt of court because we should. Why you can't? Well, you can't talk about a case. We're not going to broadcast anything until the end of this case. Well, I haven't done that. You've come to well, question you're, me. You're, broad, you're broadcasting. Just no, broad, we're, we're just broadcasting an interview with you. That's all okay, we're doing. Okay, well, um, if this ever goes to court, you can see we, are, we were unaware that this was being broadcast. Tommy, you're going to have to end it there. I'll I'll be like, standing in front of you for the last... I since you started. How did I know you were meant to be <laughs> doing it live? That's a real shame, Tommy, because we could get into some... Well, possibly, actually, you could get into some serious trouble from broadcasting this. And broadcasting what? What, what? what exactly? A conversation about a case that is ongoing. A case that's ongoing? A case that hasn't finished yet. It's finishing this afternoon. So why are you asking me what I think of Darren Osborne? This is going out afterwards, you knew that. Oh, right, so.
Richard. Yeah, he's frozen. Yep. That's seriously, seriously, serious stuff, mate. Is it? Yeah. Hey, I, I wanted to ask you one more question. Oh. Can we do it without that? Yep, Sam. Um, I heard you call yourself a journalist the other day. You should know that you, you can't. You can't talk about a case. You can't broadcast anything. I can't about talk a case. about a case. All of those things that answer the things that have been said about me in the case. I haven't spoken about that. Well, actually, you know what? It might be alright. I know you're alright. Because we didn't talk about guilt. I haven't spoken about him or guilt or accused him of anything. We did actually. Who has? I said alleged. Because I'm a journalist. I said alleged killer. Yeah. Because I'm a journalist. You've got an answer for everything. Well, no, I, I, you, mate, you wait, you wait till you get called up. You wait till the court calls you up. Contempt of court. Why would that they call? Happen? Yeah. Well, the court, well, court will have, then have to tell the whole country why they lied, why my family are living under death threat. I get that, and I'm, mm. you know, we're here as much to, to, to give you a voice as, as anything. But yeah, you're not here, you're here to stitch me up. That's what you're here, bro. I'm here to challenge you, that's not the same as stitching up, but, I'm, but I will tell you, broadcasting that lie... I haven't mentioned, I, I, I have not mentioned one thing about Darren Osborne or that attack. I've not commented on it. What I've spoke about, is that, which I've spoke about all before this trial, yeah? I spoke about the lies you've told about me. I spoke about the reason that multiple terrorist attacks, which everyone's talked about, which, as you've just said, it's been brought up in court. People are saying that these terrorist attacks radicalised him and made him do it. So why would that be anything to do with a contempt of court? I haven't mentioned about him. Until you ask me that point then, what do you think of Darren Osborne? Which is what I said is, well, has he been convicted? I'm not going to comment on it unless he's been convicted. For that exact reason. I'm not going to say he's guilty because I don't know if he is guilty. He actually said... Um, and I said alleged. If you rewind point, this, I said alleged said, killer. He actually said I was a... Even, even though, do you know what I said alleged killer? The Telegraph ran a headline saying Tommy Robinson messaged, Twitter direct messages, killer. The Telegraph's headline called him a killer. I'm not talking about Telegraph. No. I'm just, I'm just working this through and it's, it, it is a really dodgy, dodgy situation we're in here where we are talking about... Mate, I've been in a dodgy situation all week. The whole, the whole country's been told I'm involved in this. You're here to... Are you still alive, by the way? I am, yeah. You're here to involve me in a terrorist case. Tommy, I've got, I've got a lot more to ask you, but we can't carry on if you're going to do this. Mate, I don't trust you. So, I'll, everything's live. I'm fed up of fake news and bullshit being said about me. So, at least people can evaluate themselves when they watch this back. They'll know exactly what was said. They'll know the conversation we had. It's a shame. We have a, kind of a grown-up conversation. I mean, we can. It is grown-up. OK, all right. Tommy, I'm going to have to say... I'm going to have to say... Uh... No problem. The Hells Angels know you don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers, lads. We love the Hells cheers. Angels. Ah, let's go that way. How do we get back? No, I'm not going across. We'll walk around the road. Okay. We'll see you later, lads. See you later. When did the Vikings start 69? Yeah, so little, look, I'll probably drop over there. Right, at least, um, I don't trust him. I don't trust any of them. I don't trust the whole agenda. I believe this has been done on purpose. I believe the state purposely involved me in this case when I had nothing to do with it. They've purposely done that so that the media will do this so the media will run stories at the end of this trial that involve me when I'm not involved in the case at all that's what they're going to do that's the reason for, that's what I believe is the reason for it I believe he's here everything see all the conversation we just had all that's going to cut to is do you feel responsible and all they're going to cut to is that little video where they've cut out the context of it and it'll have me saying 